What's going on everyone? Hope you all are having a great day today. And in this video, we are going to be painting the brake calipers on the WRX. And um, as you can tell by, wow, this I'm, I'm moving too much. Sorry, it's on a gimbal, if you didn't know, see? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, I kind of went with a crazy color, if you kind of saw on the thumbnail. Uh, I chose yellow. Um, just want to mix it up a little bit, you know. I already got the uh, yellow horns up front, and then I think yellow looks really good on this blue. So, uh, yeah, we I already did one side, and we're doing a nighttime vlog as you can uh, see out there. So, as far as materials goes, if your brake cleaner can isn't completely empty, you would be using brake clean, but instead, uh, I'm going to be using uh, a little bit of steel wool here, some sandpaper, and for um getting making sure the tape that we're going to be using the masking tape uh i have a razor blade right here and some uh i believe what grid is this 150 i guess and then for protection i got um gloves right here and a just a fancy mask so all right so when you're starting to paint your brake colors here one of the best things you can do okay never mind not not just the one best thing there's two best things that you need to do before you uh start to paint your calipers and that is being you have to clean it first so we're going to go up on the uh, table over there i'm going to show you what we're uh, going to be cleaning with you clean it first and then the second most important thing um is the prepping the prepping will is literally like 90 percent of what uh, of the work here so that's just masking everything that you don't want painting on you know getting even up here on the car even though my car is filthy wow look at that let's make sure nothing back here gets sprayed with whatever color you're using you just want the caliper uh obviously you don't want to get a lot on the rotors or anything or the brake pads or anything like that so that's something you need to look out for but if you do get a little bit here and there like if you get some over here um you know like on the corners here uh it's just gonna rub off as soon as you press the brakes so um yeah i got the, well, the other side done already so i'm just uh, getting uh, this side done right now all right, so uh, once again, welcome to my garage floor. You guys have seen my garage floor plenty of times, um, just in all of my videos. But uh, anyway, so first I think I want to actually start out with the uh, steel wool here. Um, just break it up a little bit. And basically what I like to do is just uh, give it a nice wipe down of everything gotta get it nice and clean so um now i'm gonna just sand it away and then if i had brake clean i would be using brake clean but uh i think for these, these there's absolutely no brake dust on them just considering that the there isn't a lot of rust or anything on there. Um, that this is only only a year old, so there's going to be almost no buildup anywhere. So yeah, there isn't any heavy brake dust, and half the stuff that has, or pretty much all the stuff that has brake dust on it, I'm going to be masking off anyway. Right now that you are done cleaning, it is time to prep. So, and now we're all masked up. I did that one right there. And I did the rear as well. So now we're going to start the painting process. So let's hop back on the ground again. And uh, we'll show you how the uh, painting process goes. It should be interesting. First layer going on.
All right. Ooh, let's get situated here. Uh. All right, so here's what I mean by the uh, tack layer. So on camera, it looks like I just, well, went super crazy, but I didn't go super crazy. I mean, it did a little rough right uh, in this area right here. But um, yeah, this is basically your tack layer. Uh, you just, it's super light. It's your first coat. Um, I also did one on the rear. This one's probably a better example of a, of a tack layer, but. Um, oh man, this is also really, I wish I wasn't doing this at night either, but, yep, that is basically how you do a tack layer, and now we wait for about five minutes, and we will continue this adventure. All right, so now we are to the painting stage. If you were going to do primer, do primer now. And this uh, also applies with the primer as well. Whatever you're starting out with, I'm starting out with uh, color. You want to do this thing called the uh, tack spray. And that's basically a super light coat. It's ba it's still see-through. Um, it's it's the very first coat that you're, that you're going to do for primer and for actual base coat so after your tack layer then you're going to keep uh doing like 68 inches of spraying right so you could get that done but in between each time you spray you gotta wait about five ten minutes and then you're ready to go for your other layer uh for me personally i'm going to do um i five i'm gonna do five layers of just this base coat because that seemed to really do the trick on the other side again since these calipers are only a year old there's no uh build up or residue on them they're um so yeah i can just go straight to base coat and not really have to worry about primer that much so uh yeah we are going to get to spraying and then i'm going to show you how to do the tack tack layer first and then we'll go to actual layers after that so all right so here's what i mean by the uh, tack layer so on camera it looks like i just well went super crazy but i didn't go super crazy i mean it did a little rough right uh, in this area right here but um yeah this is basically your tack layer uh, you just it's super light it's your first coat um i also did one on the rear this one's probably a better example of a, of a tack layer but i wish i wasn't doing this at night either but yep that is basically how you do a tack layer and now we wait for about Five minutes. Just did the final coat on both calipers. They actually turned out really well. I'm super pleased by it. Um, same consist, like perfect consistency, thickness, you know, whatever you want to call it. Now we're just gonna wait for this to dry just a little bit, and then we'll have our final result that I'll show you guys. And then we'll throw these wheels back on, and then I can go to bed. Alrighty, guys. So it's the next day. And I just wanted to show you this uh, more in the daylight here, but I think they look really good for what they are. Uh, but just using a rail can, 
you know, the key thing for this is to, is the masking job essentially. So, uh, I, as you can see, I just did the pads and everything else around it. You got over the fenders and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, just a closer look. It could use some touching up, but uh, everything you can't see is behind the wheel and you know all that good stuff. So yeah, I, I think they turned out great. They look really good from far away. So here is the can I used. I used one can, five coats each caliper, and it's just duplicolor caliper paint. Super awesome. Um, found it on Amazon, and I'll link it down below if you guys want to try it. But I actually highly recommend it. Um, super durable, super strong paint. I like it. And um, yeah, looks really good. Um, I, especially on that Wold Riley Blue. Uh, really pops and with the silver wheels as well all right so i'm ending this one in the car again um unfortunately my neighbors were like super loud just watching a football game football game outside for some reason so and i didn't really feel like leaving my house so we're ending it in the car um hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm really stoked on how those calipers turned out like i said before i'll uh, leave the link to the spray paint uh, down below it is an amazon link and um yeah don't forget to also check out ray's energy if you're wanting to try any new energy uh, products they also have uh, pre-workout and all that good stuff so i'll have a link for that as in the description as well uh, feel free to check it out if you use code pdx cars you do save 15 percent. so um yeah if you want to support the channel, I would uh, highly recommend hitting that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And while you're down there, might as well hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.